at all? Yes. Is your boss thinking like that? Or it's just me that she treats that way? What did she do? Hmm. Now whenever I come to your workplace, she throws words at me. That you do not deliver the work when I come around. I feel so pissed. You swear about that, Duna? You know, Cindy is that somehow complicated. Just ignore what she says. I don't like her instincts. And the way she behaves around you. I feel so annoyed. It's well, Duna. I'll handle it. Once I get a new job, I'll quit immediately. I don't want you to be treated this way. I don't want it. I hope so, Bev. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll handle it. Love you. That you be. You know, I was thinking about our future today. What are you thinking about? Well, imagine us traveling in the world together, exploring new cultures, tasting exotic foods. Imagine us traveling in different countries together, having to live our lives in different countries. And you know, us have seen life in very different ways. Exactly. And then when we are ready, we can set it out. Maybe start a family. You cannot imagine a better future than the one with you. Problem. The disappearance of Glenn has had a worry with me. But at least there would be a trace of him at this point. All of my efforts to find him are in vain. Do you think something happened to him? Should we contact the police? Perhaps we should involve the police in this matter. It's the last option we have. Yeah. Are you done, Ngo? I'm winding up. Okay. I have a meeting today, so I really need something professional and stylish. Really? Yeah. Don't worry, madam. We've got you covered. How about a silk elegant updo? Perfect! Please go on. Alright then. Hello. Oh, yes, yes. I'm the matron for the students. You're having a Nabumali high? <laughs> matron? Yeah, your kid is complaining she doesn't have pocket money. Uh, pocket money? She's missing some books. The teachers are demanding. Mm -hmm. Books? Eh? She needs some pocket money. But I don't have a kid at Nabumali body. What? I don't have. Hello? 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 That must have been a scammer. Exactly! Can you imagine someone claiming I have a kid and uh, they need uh, school requirements, pocket money, post what what? Jesus Christ! Hmm. Those con men, they spend their entire day trying their luck. And at the end of the day, they end up scamming some people. Uh, I was once scammed and I learned my lesson. It will never happen again. You've got to be very vigilant. Mm -hmm. 
He's making some calls, madam. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Jevali, Kosevo. Hali, Nyabu, Jevali. Why are you going to send the kids to the Koko? To send the kids. To send the kids. To send the kids. To send the kids. Bambi is a disarmed word. Yeah, I was a lot of friends. 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 I was a lot I can't thank you enough for everything. It's been a pleasure having you here, Dylan. You become like a family to me. Same here, sir. I will never forget the wisdom we have shared and the kindness you have shown me. Remember what I told you, son. Don't lose sight of who you are. Stay true to yourself and you'll find your way. I will do my best, Mr. Matanda, and I will never forget the lessons you have told me. That's all I can ask for. Have a safe trip. Goodbye, Mr. Matanda. Goodbye, Dylan. And remember, you will always have a home here whenever you need it. I don't have much to give you, Dylan. But uh, this is what I can give you for now. Wow. I pray that the Lord will help you. Thank you. Thank reach you. Self, <laughs> Thank you. And be good. Hello? Hello, OB. It's me, your classmate. We were in the same school at... In... Yeah, 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 exactly. You, you, you just used to sit in front of me. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, it's nice to meet you again. Oh, OB. I need your help, please. I was driving from work, going home, and there's a very big distance. And the car broke down. All the money is in the bank. There are no banks near. So if you just help and send me maybe some 500k on my line. So I call these people, they come and fix this car. And I proceed. When I reach to town, I'm going to put that money for you. Yeah, I will be grateful. Just send, send, send me your bank account number and uh, names, I think. Yeah, just send on this line. Yeah, the names are just been. Oh, thank you so much. You are the best. Hey! Oh, B. Yeah? Aha! This is done. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for coming. I've called this emergency meeting to address a pressing issue that has come to our attention. We've discovered variations in our financial records, specifically concerning the funds allocated to our community projects. After a deep investigation, it is evident that Cynthia has been misusing this fund for personal gain. Imagine 
imagine she has not even shown up for the meeting. That's already a sign. She's guilty. We've always prided ourselves on trust and integrity in this group. Her actions have betrayed that trust. Cynthia was once a valued member of this organization. Why would she do this? What she has done is unacceptable. We cannot overlook this spiritual trust. We demand that she returns every cent that she has taken. This is a difficult moment for all of us, but it's important that we uphold the principles that bind us together as a team. We will overcome this setback and emerge stronger than before. Celine. You're here? Um, what are you doing here? I moved in here two weeks ago. What are you looking for? Sorry, there's someone I knew who used to stay here. Unfortunately, they left. Oh. You disappeared after Bobby's death, huh? What? And now you've surfaced. Bobby's dead. <laughs> 